back and dive into Adobe Express Beta again. This time we're going to be looking at Instagram Stories. So right here we're going to browse the templates and uh, we're going to start with something pretty simple. I kind of like this one. So we're going to look at this template before we go off on our own and you know, do our own thing here. So Instagram stories are either kind of like TikTok videos or they can actually be multi-page experiences. So that's what this one is. It's got three pages. We can see up here the three and this is page one. And if we tap the arrow, we see page two and page three. So if we look at these with intention and look closely, we'll see there's a lot of repetition and that's what makes the story really hang together over the three or more screens that you're doing. And right, so we have a, a blended background, we have some bokeh lights, and we have a font with some nice words in the middle and a little box around it. Next page, we have a blended background, some bokeh lights, some words in this font and the box. And on page three, there they are again. But each page looks uniquely different right so each page has its own colors its own words and it kind of shifts around to you know create a new experience for the viewer so if we look at where the bokeh lights are right now it's like over here in the upper left and down there in the lower right and now it's in the upper right and in the lower center um, and they're flipping over so sometimes you know the bright lights are uh, towards the middle and Sometimes they're towards the bottom. So even with some very simple ingredients, we can make um, really nice variations that carry forward a theme, but give us the experience that, that there's more than just one version of this. So um, they're all very closely related, but yet unique, like members of a family. Okay, so let's start here, and I'm going to be making a story for self-care. Right. Um, and I'm not really good at writing the words, so I'm actually going to use ChatGPT to write the words. Go over there, and I, I started out here with, I wanted to write copy for a three-panel Instagram story to support mental health, and each panel needs to be to six words. And I got these things, and that's actually what kind of gave me the idea for self-care, because the very first one was choose self-care. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to go back and ask again and get things that are more specific to self-care. I'm actually going to mix and match these. Start with um, nurture yourself, unlock potential, then embrace your inner strength. And the third one will be, I'm not sure if I'm going to use self-care fuels positive transformation or prioritize well-being, thrive fiercely. I kind of like thrive fiercely. Maybe I'll just use thrive fiercely. Um, but yeah, that way I've got my words. So let's just copy the words. And I'm not going to worry about the other things on the page right now because I'm going to change all that around. I just want to get the words in place. And I said the next one was embrace your inner strength. Okay. And then we're going to go get the last one, which I said, I think I'm just going to do thrive fiercely here and paste that. Great. Okay. Now we have our words. Now we need to sort of decide what our, uh, what's our style going to be? How's this going to look? What are we going to do here? Um, so I'm going to kind of use some inspiration from what's already here. So I have a gradient background. So let's try and find another gradient. And we could use a text to image here as well. Calming gradient background. We could try more. More is always, you know, fun. But one thing I could have done at, when I did the text was to say, um, maybe I want certain colors in this. And let's say magenta, pink, and blue, which will give us cooler colors. I don't like the first one too much, but I do like this. I like that nice wave. And the first thing I'm going to do is put it on the bottom. Okay. So we can actually, let's put it all the way on the bottom, and then we're going to get rid of this one. All right, so there's that. And instead of bokeh lights, I kind of think I want something, I'm thinking like a relaxing bubble bath for self-care sounds good. So let's go here and again, I could just search it. Um, let's try bubbles. 
and I can get a nice kind of textury thing there or I could have used the image generation again to get bubbles it's really up to you see it looks like it's greenish and yellow over here when it comes in it's not it's actually picking up the pink and the magenta and I know that's because it must be somewhat transparent so in the original template, the opacity must have changed. Let's go look at that. Pick this thing. It's not opaque, but it has a blend and a blend is screen. So when it's screen, it lets the lighter colors come through instead of, and not the darker ones. So if we choose multiply instead, it's going to go the other way around and the, it's all going to get darker. And if we go for normal, it's going to look exactly like it looked in the um, swatch we picked just dropped on top of the other background so let's I like screen let's go back to screen just look at it on the background I can see the edge of everything so I think I actually want to rotate it move it up stretch it out <laughs> still creates too much of an edge so I think what I might try is remove background all right, now I've got some pretty strange looking bubbles here. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's a start. And I could, you know, rotate it again, try it in a different orientation, maybe flip it that way. It's kind of fun. And um, since I'm sort of following along with what was on, already on the template, I'm going to also um, use it down here. So I'm just going to actually delete that one. Pick the one I just made and we're going to duplicate it. We'll move it down and move it over a little bit and do some something here like that. Okay. All right, so now I've got some bubbles. I've got my background. I don't like this font at all. <laughs> so of course, I can just pick that and slide through the font choices till I find something that feels, feels like it really resonates with this idea of self-care. Some of them are very like rigid and geometric and some of them are really like handwriting and, you know, graffiti script and things like that. And if you don't see anything you want there, then you can just you know, scroll down here and find something you like that I think is beautiful. So I can make it bigger. I can change it so each word's on its own line. But I'm kind of like, I don't like the way this looks. So make it a little bit bigger. Just drag the corners out, slide it up between those bubbles. All right, and I still have those corner edges. I don't think they go with any of this. So let's go in there and just get rid of them and I could leave it without the corners or I could choose something else I kind of don't think I need much else right now but if we wanted something else we could go over to elements and look at you know let's see we could do edges um, textures things that look like they're kind of nice little thing here which goes sort of with this font so let's uh, put that there. And I don't want it black, right? So I'm going to need to do something with this. Let's see what we can do. Um, we can try effects. And if we switch to a color like that, it looks pretty good. Um, again, I'm just using the duotones but because it's a solid black. It just simply replaces the color. And of course, I know I can tap on the color I can go in, get the eyedropper, or use custom and really, you know, make it uh, similar to other parts of the page. Um, actually, I think my better idea, instead of picking the background, let's pick one of these colors from the bubbles. Cool. All right, that's looking nice and, you know, maybe a little symmetry here. Duplicate this. Uh, beautiful little shape I found and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna flip it sideways <laughs> and I'm gonna put it up there and I might actually even change the color so let's go back to effects and we're going to it doesn't really matter what we pick because we're going to use the let's start there we're gonna use the adjustments in here and 
pick up, I'm going to pick up this color down there. So there's my first page. I've got everything I'm, you know, very happy with there. And since my other pages already exist, I have to copy and paste. But if you were starting from scratch, you could just duplicate this page and start moving everything around. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do it that way. I'll just delete the other pages when I'm done. Okay, so we're going to add a duplicate page. Okay, and I'm going, the first thing I'm going to do is go get my words. So let's go. Actually, my words are, never mind. My words are on this page here because I thought I was just going to do it that way. But we're going to actually just build off of the first one. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to the page I just made and paste those in there. It already knows the font. Everything looks good. I'm going to actually force this to be in the same kind of one word, two words, one word stack um, there. And now we're going to play around with what's happening on with the rest of the pieces. So for this piece, we're going to start out by flipping it. And then I'm going to make it a lot bigger. We're going to stretch it so that we don't see as much of the blue. Um, we could even stretch it and rotate it, flip it. Okay, and now I can just make some little adjustments with the extra elements that I put here. Pick up some of that magenta color. Could be a little bit lighter. So let's go to custom and slide this over so it, it really stands out. And I'll do the same thing with this one. I'm going to pick another color for it. And this one I might pick, hmm, I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I'm going to pick a darker purple by using your eyedropper or your custom to get the colors you want. And it's a little too gray for me. So let's swap out to custom, bring it up to make it more vibrant and a little bit darker and maybe a little bit more purple. Okay, and um, I also want to change the bubbles because, you know, if they already look similar, but if they're in exactly the same place, it's a little bit boring. So let's see what we can do here. Let's try and flip that that way, and let's maybe make it bigger. And slide it. No, I don't want to do that. Let's move it back to this side so it's not getting in the way. Actually, I can move the squiggles too. We can have all kinds of fun here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's put that back there. Move it up. Tip it a little bit and then move this over there. I'm gonna flip it too. <laughs> this one I'm going to just rotate, I think. And move this one over. Like this. Okay. All right. And I'm sorry, and this one I feel like the bubbles are too white. So I'm actually going to lower just a little bit, maybe around 90% on the opacity. So that one came you know came up really quickly. So let's make our next one. And I'm gonna add another page, duplicate this. Um, actually now I'm going to go look at the pages and Get rid of the ones I don't need. Select that and hit the trash can. That one's gone. Okay. And then my last one, just I just need the words Thrive Fiercely. So we'll copy that. And I can go back here and get rid of it now. And then we're going to bring it to this page. So there's Thrive Fiercely. Definitely needs to be on two lines. And it can be a lot bigger. So I can stretch the box or I can use this little plus sign or just even type in the number let's try 200 cool that looks beautiful okay so we've got that and we're going to do some things with the background again and i might want to make it a little bit smaller so i'm going to zoom out even more and pull in this corner so i get more of that orange there and i think i need to take these move them around a little some more maybe this time i can put them in the center might work like that stack it all up um let's i like this color but i think i want to change this one up here 
to be brighter blue. It's way too bright. So we're going to, you know, go to our custom again or our eyedropper and fix it up. So we get a little more blue and just a little darker. It actually looks pretty good right now. So just maybe like that. And then the last thing I want to do is, you know, bring some more variation into the bubbles. And let's see if we can make it smaller. Slide it down, maybe flip it around, rotate some more, get rid of that part. And just have these nice soft bubbles up there. And the same thing down here, try some variations on this. Um, those are kind of like mirror image of each other, so let's not do that. <laughs> let's uh, flip it or rotate it some more so it's looking a little bit different. Bring in some of those smaller bubbles down there. All right, so what we made is a nice three panel Instagram story. And now when you're going to save it, to download it, you want to, I want to fix this. I don't like this color anymore. <laughs> you're going to um, download it as three parts. So let's try that and much, much, ha much happier with that now. Okay. So we're going to download and when we download, we're going to select all pages. So it says three pages are selected and you know, pick, your format for these it's usually jpeg is the best so you download your jpeg and you'll get three separate files um, so it automatically produces the pages you need as separate files instagram story but this time i'm going to create from scratch instead of using a template because you can always create from scratch um, and just build it up with the pieces you find and you know create your own authentic expression of this visual narrative and not really rely on a template all the time. So I'm going to start with a background color. So my story is going to be about a cat sitting service or like cat daycare, kitty daycare kind of thing. So I'm going to start with a background color and I'm going to pick from here. I want something nice and warm, maybe like that. Be a little too yellow so let's switch over to here and maybe bring it down just a little bit okay so that's my background color and now I want to add some background shapes so I'm going to kind of make it something different than a solid color let's put it that way so I'm going to go to elements and Let's see what kind of element do I want? A thought bubble? Let's try that. But I'm not going to use it like a thought bubble. I just want to use it for the shape. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make it really big so that I don't see all of it. And I just that way are seeing part of the edge. Move it down there. And we're going to make a color change here using our effects. So I can just pick any one here or I can go in and uh, fine tune it, but that actually looks really good there. So that's that's coming along quite nice. We're gonna go back and duplicate it, and then I'm gonna move it up to here. Um, I could say that's it's almost the opposite of what was there. So I'm just gonna go back to here. This is working pretty well for me. I'm gonna make it bigger, All right, so that most of my page is the lighter color now. And I'm gonna move this up. And I might make it a little bigger too. And rotate it slightly like that. Yep. So now it looks like my page is the lighter color with this other shape in the middle, but it's actually the other way around. But it doesn't really matter how you go at this. Um, you know, you're just going to create some kind of background. Okay. And like I said, I'm doing a cat uh, sitting or a kitty daycare. So I'm going to come back over here and type in kitten. And then there's a whole bunch of cats. Some of them are like photographs, some of them are like drawings. Since I know I'm going to have three pages, I want to find three cats that are kind of similar looking. Um, I do love these little drawings. So let's start with this one. And make it nice and big. I'm going to move it up 
sort of in that area. So I don't need to have the whole picture on the screen. I can just use part of the picture. That's kind of fun. All right, so this is coming along and I've kind of got this nice light area where I'm going to put some of the words. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to use my text tool. That's all, that's the name of the place. So I'll put that down here as well. Um, got a little bigger. Oops, that's not where I want that. Ahem. Get my text tool again, add my text, and that's going to go up here. I'm going to use my Montserrat alternative font again, and I want a nice you know, chunky one. Let's maybe try extra bold italic. That might be too bold, so we'll back off and go to bold italic. Okay, I like that. And then I want to make it line up on the left side. And make it a little smaller there so it fits nicely in that shape that I have. Okay, and I need to change the color. So we're going to get, tap on the fill and I'm going to start with this, which obviously is going to be too light. Um, and then I'm going to let's see how that looks. So well, it's looking pretty good. And I'm going to duplicate this <laughs> and use it to make up the name. I think I wrote it. I want to write it in all capitals and I'm gonna make it bigger and then I want to have a little logo for my company as well so I'm gonna go back to elements and go back to kittens and I'm gonna start with this one okay just bring that down there make it a bit smaller That's looking good and I'm gonna also change the color on that uh, so we're going to use the FX and I think I'll start with this again and I need to adjust it a little bit so we'll just open it up tap the shadows and get the eyedropper we'll start with the color from the words which is a little too light so we'll go to custom get a nice and deep brown color okay Great, and I want to make the logo move, so we're going to go back to the image, the animation, and I'm just going to have it come in. I want it to sort of shrink in like that. Great. Okay, so now this is my first page. And you know, I may not want five seconds of the first page, so I can shrink it down to say three. And then I'm going to duplicate this page and start changing things. All right, so the first thing I'll change is the cat. So instead of that cat, we're going to use one of the other ones I found here. I'm going to use this one. Let's get rid of that cat and work on this one. Bring it nice and big. And the logo and all that stays the same, but I don't want the logo to move this time because this is the middle page so we're going to actually turn the animation off and then I need to change the words alright so there's my new words let's move that over a little bit it's a nice space next to the cat alright but the background is exactly the same on these two and I want some variation I want to make it visually interesting so let's start uh, playing around with the background so actually I'm going to start by removing one of the shapes and just use the other one and the other one is going to become like the center of this page that looks pretty good move it up a little bit okay. so now it's sort of the opposite of this one where the dark area is in the middle and the light area is on the top and bottom now we have the light area in the middle and the darker areas on top and bottom right. we're going to add one more page and get a new cat <laughs> I'm going to take this cat and since we read in the English language from left to right, I actually want the cat to move that way too, so all I have to do is flip it over. Now the cat's going that way. Move it down a little bit. I'm going to get the new words. This one I have the light area in the middle, so I need to put this the other way around. So we're going to move this up. And it's going to be the background for that. I could use that part or I could spin it around and try some other parts. 
move the background up just a little bit, over a little bit, and we're going to move the cat down. And now I want to have a light area also at the bottom, so just pick this one, duplicate it, slide it down, actually make the cat a little bit bigger, and move it over. So it's kind of walking into the picture here. One last thing I want to do is I'm going to add a little motion to the logo on this one, and it's going to be an out motion. And since I did shrink going in, I'm going to do grow going out. And I'm going to make it a little longer. Give me one second. I can also adjust the softness if I want. And I'm going to go back to the beginning and adjust this time as well. Um, so that is also one sec. So there's that one. On the next page, just everything's sitting still. And on the last page, we also have an animation. Boom. Very cool. So we're going to download them. And remember to check all pages because there's three pages to this Instagram story. Cool. So. Have fun. I hope you make some really amazing Instagram stories.